Happy Saturday, folks. Another bill search video here on Variety and Airs, your channel for paper currency and rare coins. So let's get right to it. We have a nice little pretty crisp overall, despite the middle uh, fold there. Series 2013 $10 bill. As far as print and stuff like that, I don't see anything really going on with this bill. Serial number is nice and clear. It matches up. It's a newer 10, quote unquote newer. Post the design change in 2006. U.S. Treasury on the back. Nothing crazy there. Very clean. Moving on. Series 2013 also. E for Richmond, Virginia. Sometimes you'll see some blurring up in this lettering up here uh, where it says Federal Reserve Note. That's just common. Uh, you know, when they lay down the actual inking there, you'll see that blurring kind of bleeding over the lines there. That's common. That's not an error. It's not a variety. Nothing in the serial number. Let's look at the reverse. Little bit of a counter stamp left over here. I like keeping stamp bills, but this one doesn't have the full stamp on it, and therefore I'm not going to hold on to that. Two thousand nine, all folded up. A little repetition of nines here, but not collectible. I have quite a few people ask me about um, repeating numbers. Unless they're a block of four or five of them by themselves, that I mean. So if this is all nines and then eight five four, still not collectible. If it was zeros on the ends or three zeros and then all nines, then it's collectible. So it's an actual block instead of just a portion of the serial number being a block, if that answers the question, although that was kind of a haphazard answer there. But, you know, trying to clarify for people so they're not confused and not thinking they came across some major gem when really it's just a bill. Series 2013 also. A little bit of over ink on the third digit, but we know that's common on 2013 bills. A little bit of an over ink, well, over pressing rather, but nothing, nothing error wise. Nothing in the serial number, also Richmond, Virginia bill, series 2013, a lot better condition than those other ones. Everything seems printed appropriately your plate annotations, your sheet numbers, stuff like that. This little blurring down here, common on basically every bill, especially from 2013. You'll see kind of a transition of ink from one bill to another when they're in the stack coming from the BEP. So, okay, a little date note. April 5th, 1587. I know it's not a birthday note. I like to hold on to them. I, I just refer to them as date notes. My previous one had a previous video had kind of a joke title because uh, I found a date note that was my birthday if I was born in 1049. But I'll look up to see if anything happened on April 5th, 1587, or just in the year 1587. I like to just throw in some historical tidbits, but not super duper collectible. I'll probably end up calling this one a spender unless something crazy happened in 1587, which off the top of my head, I don't recall anything majorly historical happening uh on that during that year but whatever i'll look it up and see what we go with i'll set it aside for now beat up 2013 one dollar bill nothing in the serial number seal was sitting a little low on the front there nothing to call home about yet a little bit of a date note. That's cool, though. But, I mean, nothing crazy. San Francisco's at L there. Series 2009. I think a 93 bill is the oldest one I've come across recently. Got a little bit of absence of uh, ink here, but that's definitely from damage. So, a good example of, of a what looks to be an error, almost. Um, but it's due to... to post-production damage, damage after the bill's been printed, referring to where the uh, stars here within the wreath are. Nothing. 
nuts yet. Yeah, I almost thought I had a birthday note, 1988 there on the end. So I get a lot of questions about those too. Oh, is it a date note because it just has a four digit year in it? No, I mean, realistically, unless it's, and you can have it in different orders. I mean, you could have it 1988-01-16, for example, that would be a date note, or 01-16-1988, that would be a date note. But this is not one, just having 1988 in there is, is not going to constitute a date note. Nothing there. Last but not least, wow, really heavily overprinted, third digit. I don't normally hold on to these. Um, it is a St. Louis, Missouri bill. It's very beat up, as you can still tell from the uh, cuts here. Now, I do know that the St. Louis, Missouri bills are a little bit smaller run within the overall series of 2013. And this one's got a heavy ink on it, but I'm still, it just the damage to it, I'm going to, Going to let it slide. Let's look at the reverse, just see if anything crazy is on it. Nope. So a small find in this bill search. We don't always come across uh, total gems. I mean, I like to search these per day. So, I mean, sometimes I find stuff really awesome. Sometimes I don't. I've come across miscuts and misalign, misprintings, stuff of that nature. Lots of date notes, lots of star notes. This is a nice little date note. I'll see if anything happened in 1587 just to throw some historical tidbits into the old description box. Otherwise, I appreciate you guys coming to another bill search. And stay tuned for more Aircoin videos and paper currency videos. I will see you later. Thanks for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more videos on money.